so the update about chira so i've confirmed ni kweli eh wale watu walikuwa nasema oh si banchira si nini so now confirmed um, nimekuja na the grandma na the uncle nimewaleta hapa leo asubuhi and uh, it was so heartbreaking because now all the hope about branchira imeenda hivyo sio so tumemuona and it's too bad yeah unfortunately kuna pichilili kuko nje kuna mtu alikuja kumuona na then akapiga picha jana eh so ilikuja imeleta shida that's why watu hawezi kuja kumuona tena hapa mm. until tomorrow leo tu ni family peke yake imekuja kumuona that is shosho mimi nikaingia huko pia na huyo uncle yake but it was so at breaking because now kichwa yake yote hapa katikati hakuna kitu like iko open mm-hmm. so it's too bad it, the impact was too bad and uh, i guess that is what i can say so admission is tomorrow uh, penye admission <coughs> kuja like family kuji claim mwili then waandikisha after maandikisha uh, alafu tukuje tufanye postmortem yeah, we have to request for the postmortem tomorrow so that he can be transferred to any any in itonga aje to any facility yenye wanatak of their choice so um, before that atuizi mpeleka mali popote kama postmortem ijafanywa after postmortem ndo unapatwa ngile kitinatoa barrel permit ndio sasa mnaweza mpeleka kwa any mortuary and uh, for that being said because kira mwezi jua ni yeye bila ko hivi sahi kitu inaweza fanya mjue ni yeye ni kwa alikuwa amevaa na toja na maybe mikono na pia mdomo kidogo but hizi zingine masikio hakuna moja zingine like face iko tu kichwa imepunguka mm. then hii nyingine iko tu hivyo tu so for me to be here i'm just helping the family because now it's one of the people kidogo sometimes back we were trying to help branchira okay. and uh, i'm still here i've been still helping the ma- the grandmother despite ama mimi after branchira mefanya one to three nili keep distance na kidogo but mimi still the family have been there supporting the grandma penye nilikuwa naezewa okay yeah so i guess that is what i can say okay. can you tell us a little bit of what happened because the watu sai wanajiuliza maswali mengi and i know maybe you try to follow up and know what happened so um, the thing is um habari nimepewa because now ni watu wengi walikuwa wanapiga hizo story eh uh, branchira alipata toa accident against the same same place penye miuka panitonga gasharage just karibu na ruaka because kira kwa na kambali na mimi alikuwa na ka um, karibu St Peter's inaitwa Peter Anza makituka hiyo eh, St Peter's iko tu hapo tu somewhere around Gasharage between Ruaka and Gasharage so that is where but alikuwa na ka the other side so he had uh, come from a, a, a pub flani iko tu hapo Gasharage aka dropiwa but then after ku dropiwa i guess he jumped out of the motorbike sijui kitu kama hiyo mm-hmm. Then when uja ma mwenye alikuwa amemshukisha pale alikuwa anajaribu ku kwenda kumkataza singe kwa barabara that is how kuna kanta ya white ilikuja ikamgonga kwa barabara you know that barabara kuanzia 4 kwenda onwards na kuanga very busy so pale mtaki kugonga na hakuna mtu mwenye alikuwa anaona it means hakuna evidence yote na that unfortunately hiyo barabara ina cameras cameras ziko past Kiambu road So awezi sema tu tunaweza kumwangalia kwa nini hakuna building pia pale iko na maybe tuseme kitu kama camera CCTV yeah okay uh, we understand umeleta shosho kama what is her state now ako ako poa hey, she's too bad jo hata yeye ajeza aminga kwa mlango tu akiona kichwa kimefunguka karudi he is not okay she has never been okay in fact since before you know she lost the mother the other anti wachira mwenye alikuwa sana take off kuna branchira mm. and then now the first yani ni mjuku wake wa kwanza ndio huyo tena amekufa mm. so you can imagine what she's going through at the moment so it's not good mm. probably baba t uh, mm. since her state is not okay right yeah. now so you come yeah. una mipango uh, kumsaidia in any since you've been close to the family here yeah, we'll help where we can mm-hmm. that's why i'm still here uh, ni macha vitu zangu zote nimekuja tu kumsaidia Chira is not he is not my family member. I don't come even in the same place na eh but ni because to at some point we need one another right? Yeah. yeah. We were with Chira. Me have seen things on social media bro. When we help police ma tunatafuta content na views, tukaacha bado akakuwa bado na problem. Bado sasa hivi tumekuja bado kuna ngira nasema ni 
konde tunataka na nini so what are you getting out of it hakuna kitu yote mimi na gain i am just me helping a family that really needs that help and the grandmother me ali tumanisha hapa jana nikakuja leo mimi ndo nimemleta kesho bado mimi ndo namleta so anything else at the moment i guess he got hold until tomorrow when they have you know we have to let the family decide it's not us sisi tunataka vile inafai kuwe na family kwa na mambo yao so the thing is tunaachia family family kuja up na program vile wanataka vitu ziende that is how we will go with it and, and when was the last time you talked to chira and conversation in labda alikuwa anakwambia last moment pia yeah. yeah. mm. i guess physically tulipatana na yeye time ya birthday mc chris kirubi mm. and i remember we talked for like 30 minutes muitaki kwa hapo because it was too bad he was so drunk that day mm. and i was trying to tell him bro hii pombe tu hii pombe every conversation nimekuwa naye na chira i guess ni ya pombe tu every time because i have a problem with you because once pia mimi nishai kwa kwa and i really struggle with alcohol for some time so i used my own personal experience to tell him how it will really mess his life and we talked for some time then uh, ikakuwa tena um, the last last time nilimcall ilikuwa like two or three weeks ago i guess kuna dem flight wanga manzo mombasa mm. he had really insulted me online so the only person i could call was branchira mm. nikamwambia sasa why is your friend insulting me mm. and uh, me mna yeye atujai kutana at personal level mm. atujai meet and then anakuja kwa social media kunitusi vile mimi sijini malaya mm. sijui mimi nini and i've done nothing to her mm. so i talked to brand kamambi immediately call your friend and he did that alimpigia though he was bado hiyo time pia alikuwa akwa kwa sawa alikuwa bado kwa club pia but he did that no one ever can ever delete your video so mimi nikaacha natuna hiyo story mm. uh, but uh, for me he really used to listen sometimes but she did kwa watu wake kuna kidogo tu ni hivyo mm. but uh, above all we can't we can't really you know this in maisha mazee wizi sema haiwezi kuwa mm-hmm. jua kuna mtu anajiunga siku yake pia mm-hmm. yeah at, as it stands of course sahi uh, kuna groups already zinafoniwa pengine uh, mchango inafanyika mm-hmm. sijui uh, because you are close to the family mm-hmm. how far na hizi groups labda utaambia Kenya nini so far kuna mchango wote na hapo inafanyika uh, groups zinaweza kuwa maybe mimi najua wasingine wamefunga groups already mm-hmm but at for now hakuna mchango tunafanya because imagine unapanga candle lighting unapanga mchango mm. hata hujakuja kwa mochari mm. hata familia ajenda hata kuona shosho yake yeah. lakini sasa hii you pesa iko ya yeah. so maybe after after kesho ndo tutakuwa na mwelekeo maybe yeah. okay, okay let me ask you this question some tiktokers quote that eh? some see what mm. i've been accused of kuchangisha pesa when maybe kuna cases kama hizo wakati mtu ni mgonjwa wakati mtu amefariki and they use them for their own benefit yeah. how are you guys going to ensure that vitu kama hizo azifanyiki kwa chira because I, I, i saw people online saying watu watachangisha pesa people are gonna be millionaires na vitu kama hivyo so i really don't know about that but what i can say i guess we'll get the most secure way to know that maybe just one person or maybe one way maybe if it's a pay bill maybe well and good if maybe what i choose maybe family well and good but we really hope after the funeral we have a life after shosha yake hapo kuna huyo kijana mwingine mdogo na kuna pia kazi yake mwingine hapo so we have life after that shosha has gone through a lot bro like yesterday actually alijaribu kupiga branchira because landlord alikuwa amekuja kumsumbua na story ya rent it was accumulating up to 70000 na shosha yake branchira alikuwa di sometimes anaenda kukopa food place unaona hizo vitu zote tu anajaribu kupiga hata msewa bucha hivyo judeni nini nini hizo so yeye alikuwa anapiga jana simu akapata chira ko off confirm kama anakuja home kwenda kuchukua food na alikuwa amempikia then pia na hizo story ya landlord then sasa similifuata ni mimi ju mostly nampiga anga simu nikienda huko mm-hmm. na jana niki, nikipiga hivi akajua to the something wrong yeah. somehow but um, we hope everything will be well so in case kuna hizo vitu za fundraising zitakuja i hope we come big for this family mm-hmm. especially for the shosho he has really he has really been there with branchira nobody else mm-hmm. ajua tu inga wajuangi like ni the grandmother has been going through a lot uh, he has never healed from the death of the mother the auntie manyalikona take care of them 
and then now branch here again. So the bit from up it had to say within a span since 2020 are real right now. Mm -hmm. Imagine, mm -hmm. yeah. And okay. there is this video that uh, Anita Nyaru she did a kusema alikuwa na one shira about pombe akasema atakufa soon kama ataachana na pombe na ataenda mazishi na gari baridi sana like it's a video that right now watu wanaizungumzia sana if you seen the video maybe if you've seen it what's your take on that that is a positive criticism yeah mm -hmm. that is a positive uh, it was a positive uh, advice the same same things i used to tell branchira yeah? mm -hmm. yeah in my car to go home akuna bishanga shai kuja kwangu kazi branchira so ilikuwa ni positive si atalikuwa namtakia mabaya that is a, a, an advice ukiniambia baba ti usipoachana na kitu fulani even itakuwa mm. yeah so a question right yeah uh, niliona pale inasemekana baba ti the, the counter is being trust yeah. and of course we understand that maybe uh, that's the question on your side have you guys tried to reaching out the police station so that you can identify the counter uh, that is itakuwa very tricky because mimi sasa hii akisijafika police station bro but as jafika kwa police station me have been just been up and down as the grandmother and the staffs you know ni kazi ya police kufuatilia hiyo because now hata you know kanta ngapi zinapitanga hapo mm. ni mingi alafu tena ilikuwa kwa mkia asubuhi so it was ilikuwa saa 9 ya yeah? mm. saa 9 na 15 hivi kaeleka saa 10 so it will be very hard man but we'll try because sign and arwaka na pelaka shosha yake kwa nyumba branchira mm. and then i take her home so maybe after that i'll try to follow up ndo tujue penye umefikia okay. yeah. apart from you kuna timu nyingine mm. inakusaidia because we can see ni wewe tu tunaona ukishughulikia sana history and the family kuna wase kuna wase kuna watu wa kuhuku wengi mm. kuna chicha mm. kuna hana benta kuna mc chris ndio haja kuja hapa wengine but they are all trying to see kuna malisafi hana benta kwa hapa trisha kali da kuku mm. yeah they all here tiktok family kwa hapa bro mm. so wale wajafika city waja wataki kukuja mm. but they still uh, you know from tomorrow maybe onwards ndo wengine watakuwa na kuja kuja yeah, yeah.